was this? <sighs> Another Call of Duty, are you kidding me? YouTube channel. <laughs> Howdy boys, girls, cats, and squirrels. This is So Close to Toast, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, as most of you might know, if you're not hiding on a rock, or even if you don't care and you just want to get back to your league match, Black Ops 3 has officially been confirmed by Treyarch and Activision today. There's also been a lot of speculation over the past week with the Snapchat teasers and people trying to figure out what the name of the game would be, if it was going to be a World at War 2 game or maybe a different one completely, but now we know we're getting a trilogy, it's Black Ops 3, and it's official. So these Snapchat teasers, I, a lot of people don't know what these mean, they're just showing images of random things and sound bites or what Team Art likes to call them, teaser snaps, or his 2015 main income source. I'm just confused as to the demographic and target audience of this game. Uh, what is it? Who are they trying to reach? 12 to 15 year old attention seeking sociopaths? I don't know, but we're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about what we want to see in the game, what things we think mean, and I want to get your guys' input on if you even care for this game, are you excited for it? What do you think's going on with the Snapchats and what do you think's going on with this teaser? Nevertheless, it's an exciting time if you're a Call of Duty fan. For me personally, the Black Ops series is my favorite out of all of them, so I'm kind of stoked. And I'm not going to try and CSI and investigate and get down to the nitty gritty of this teaser trailer and really try and break it down. I just noticed some things. I want to vent to you guys and talk about this a little bit. And maybe we can puzzle the pieces together to see where this game is going. So a few things that I noticed is Mason, who is the main protagonist throughout the Black Ops series. He's definitely going to be back. His name was mentioned in the teaser. So I'm thinking he's going to be back. Just some minor details about Mason that might not be important, but it's good to know. He was born June 3rd, 1933. All right, so we got a timestamp where it started all. He fought in the Cold War. That was Black Ops 1 premise. In the early 1950s, he served as an infantryman in South Korea. Okay. Mr. Mason, his dad, fought in World War II, and the only reason we know about his dad is because he tried to send letters to his son. Now, I'm pretty sure Mr. Mason is not connected to any other characters in the Call of Duty franchise, so there could be something going on. I mean, he fought in World War II. A lot of people were speculating about World War II and that this could be part of this game. We don't know. It's all speculation, but that would be a really awesome flashback and something I personally would love to see, maybe switching through characters and do something like GTA V did with switching through perspectives. Who knows? That could be something interesting. Anywho, some more familiar voices in the teaser. Sergeant Frank Woods, who was a guy that fought alongside Mason and everybody thought he was dead. And then came back Black Ops 2 and became part of Mason's imagination. Or he could be real. We don't know. There's been a lot of discussion about if Sergeant Frank Woods is actually Mason's imagination or not. We know that Mason's brain was kind of tapped into. And that's the next point. There was that deep distorted voice talking about numbers. Now that's the same voice you heard on the menu screens and stuff when you were choosing through if you wanted to play zombies, multiplayer, things like that. And just hearing that deep voice remind me that Mason's brain has been tampered with. He could be getting controlled in this third game by somebody else, some higher being, some way more powerful person. Sergeant Frank Wood mentioned in the teaser that they need people like us. What, people to be controlled? Like robots? Who knows? But also the Russian voices were talking about weapons as well. So there's a lot of betrayal dialogue going on in the teaser. So who knows what side Mason is really fighting for at this point. We know Black Ops 1 was in the 1960s. We know Black Ops 2 was in 2025. Those are two time periods. I think Black Ops 3 is going to do something where it takes us into a different time period. Maybe takes us back in time to when it began. Everything started. We didn't see, I believe, anything on South Korea with Mason. We didn't see anything with his dad with World War II. A lot of people want to see World at War II. Maybe we'll get some historical warfare. We'll have today's warfare and we'll have futuristic warfare all in one game. That would be amazing. That's also wishful thinking. That's something I would love to personally see go back in time 
go into the future a little bit, stay where we are now, and just bounce around. Call of Duty's known for its flashbacks. They've done them before. And I'm excited to see what they do with this third Black Ops. I'm excited. The teaser did exactly what we wanted it to do. Some people will be like, this game's horrible. They probably haven't even played a Call of Duty since Mario for 2, which they quote-unquote say is their favorite game. And I'll give them this. Mario for 2's teaser trailer was a lot like this Black Ops 3 teaser trailer. They both had similarities where you had to really listen to get the details. I feel bad almost for deaf people because if you're watching this, you're getting nothing out of it. So Mario for 2 had a brilliant teaser. I think this teaser trailer did a good job. Not as good as Mario for 2's, but we'll have to see what happens. April 26th is when the big reveal is. Only a couple weeks away. Get excited. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Shake them and bake them.